Well, good morning. <laughs> it is Sunday today, and I'm looking in at the Dreamer household, and <laughs> I think it was Dorian that started this party. Yes, he wants it to be a success. And outside, <laughs> we have Lisa Freckles and Davis, um, Davis J Dreamer Jr. And he is the bi biological son of Darren, who is not at home, he is at work. The, the thing is about Lisa, <laughs> is that she, she and Dorian is a thing. So, like, Dorian has been oblivious to the whole situation, uh, the entire party. And I'm just gonna, I'm just curious to see if he will ever find out. <laughs> like, they're very sneaky. They're being out here uh, next to this window that you can totally not see through, you know. <laughs> so, um... I don't know if they're gonna go inside or what's going to happen. Oh, right. The thing about Lisa <laughs> is, that, is that she is also with Lester. But now she's turning him down and he's like, what is going on? But she doesn't wanna, you know. Yeah. She, she is in love with Lester, but now she doesn't want to do anything because then Davis will be upset. They're a bunch of romance sims. <laughs> oh, hi, Sky. Is it okay if I call you Sky? So short, so much shorter to say. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, drama. <laughs> I made myself a caramel hot chocolate. Oh, that sounds lovely. Can I have some? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, th there's a triangle going on, on there. Uh, so Lisa is with both Lester and Davis, but she's also with Dorian and she's here and now I don't know what she's going to do <laughs> during this party. Uh, Biding her time, I, I imagine. Well, uh, Dorian is being boring and just hanging out with Mary Sue. <laughs> he wants to dance with Mary Sue and have a pillow fight with Mary Sue. I don't know what his obsession with Mary Sue is all of a sudden. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> of course, I added some Smuckers caramel syrup, some Hershey syrup, and a Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Oh, that that sounds like. Isn't that very sweet though? <laughs> but you know. Oh, I just remember I don't like hot chocolate, but I do like coffee, and I my brain like uh, transformed that into. <laughs> like you were drinking coffee with chocolate in it, which I do like. So, you know, I <laughs> my brain did the thing. <laughs> if he goes out here, I guess he can like call Mary Sue over and have a little death. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> now she doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> to do anything. Stop grabbing my butt. Okay, w wait. I'm not gonna let advise them to do anything. I want to see what happens. <laughs> my body body would would be frozen if I had my other choice, which was use. It's currently like 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I'm on Celsius. I don't know what Fahrenheit is. Uh... But I, I have Google. <laughs> 48 Fahrenheit to Celsius. Oh, that's only 8 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that, that is quite warm. Uh, we were having like a, around zero yesterday. 
Celsius. <laughs> Not Fahrenheit. That would that would be freezing. So. <laughs> uh, temperature. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to find out how what the temperature is right now outside. I don't. I think it's around five. <laughs> Keep in mind, I live in Georgia. I'm in Sweden. I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, you know, yes, you're in the USA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or, you know, is, is there a Georgia, the country? I, I get mess, mixed up about things. Um, the state, not the country, is very, very hot. R not right now, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where where is my uh my part of the of uh, the country has disappeared from this map. All right, okay. So let's see. The forecast for today at 9 a.m. Uh now now my <laughs> now my city has disappeared. Why can't I find it there? Zero. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we are going into the, the winter season. You get what I mean. Typically, it's like twenty-one to thirty-two degrees Celsius. I can't imagine being used to that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I I really can't. Um like when it's 30 degrees here, I'm dead. I hate it. <laughs> I long for the winter time with our cardigans and um you know, candles and blankets and everything. I love it. I do not uh I know I do not thrive in the summer, but I do like some of the activities you can do. All right, okay. So now Landry is trying to, uh, Mr. Landry here, Renaud, he is trying to <laughs> flirt with Lisa. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is why when people look at me, wait, I missed one. <laughs> Hello, Bobo Brains, I miss you coming in. <laughs> It can get up to 45 degrees Celsius in Canada. Oh my god, how do you survive that? <laughs> I'm dead at 30. <laughs> that is why when people look at me, I'm crazy when I wear short sleeves in the winter and I'm just, it's hot as heck. Yeah, yeah. if it's 20 degrees, you can wear a t-shirt. It's fine. <laughs> people die every summer. I bet they do. I can't deal after 28. No, me neither. Like that's 28 is like the the limit or something. Um, okay. I don't know about. Oh my god. Okay. Yes. <laughs> let's let's have some woohoo, shall we? That will not upset all the other people on at the party. <laughs> like Dorian did not does not know what he's doing. Like the other boys over there, they will they will not like this. <laughs> because I I think they will notice. I love the winter more, but you can get to minus forty five. Yeah, minus thirty five is enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't do anything. What happened? Okay. Uh, uh, false alarm. Because I was living in the northern Sweden uh, before, uh, in Jokmok, and there it was very common. It was like minus 30, minus 35 during the winter time. Uh, but minus 45 is. Oh, they're back on. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 45 is, um, I don't even know what that's like. <laughs> I, 
never been in it and maybe I'm should I should be happy guess what <laughs> what <laughs> What are they doing? What are they going to do it or not? <laughs> At this point, I might start, um, you know, directing him to it. The average minus twenty-two. Oh, we average minus twenty-two, but we have super cold sometimes. Where are you? In Canada. All oh, right. They they're just gonna go up and out of the bed apparently. <laughs> uh, I've always thought uh, if I were to live in America, like the continent, not the other thing that people mean when they say America, uh, then I will be in Canada because it's it's. It looks like it might be like the northern Sweden, kind of, but man, that's cold. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> North America. Yeah, you, you know, continents. I would not be living in South America. That's too hot to, for me. <laughs> Okay, if you are... What are you trying to do? Casual kiss? Okay. The party is going to be over. No, she doesn't... Oh, she doesn't want to. He's trying to kiss her, but she's like pulling away. Uh, Alright. Uh, so that's kind of awkward, isn't it? Yeah. So... You didn't get any, Dorian. She's gonna go home in two seconds. Literally. Uh, but it was a good party. <laughs> well, I really thought they would... Okay. But she's like, well, uh, all my boyfriends are here. If I woohoo, they're gonna come in. <laughs> well, that's smart. I wonder why she's so smart. All the other sims I have, they just go at it. And, <laughs> and then chaos ensues. But she was not in the mood for anything. So weird. <laughs> well, here comes Darren and he has a promotion. Uh, he has been promoted to gold farmer level 4. Uh, having enough gold... He's a gold farmer? What uh, profession is he in? Oh, he's a gamer. Okay, I see. <laughs> having enough gold to buy the best equipment is the best is the reason you play the game. However, it's one thing to have the best gear and another entirely to use it properly. All right. Uh, just remember, does people have stuff in their inventory? Steffi has <laughs> a nice one of these. So I guess I'll change that out and we can sell that. There's no use them having it in their inventories. There you go. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I I think I uh, have a little bit of a cold. It's autumn, after all. Can I see the family tree? You sure can. So, ooh, here we go. <laughs> it can't fit the screen. So, uh, here's Darren. He has Dirk, of course, but then he got three kids, uh, all with Cassandra, and uh, they uh, they got taken away when Darren was at work and Cassandra died, <laughs> so they got left home alone. Uh, during the the headmaster visit, uh, by the way, <laughs> so so they are all in like foster care. So Dave is here. He has been fostered by uh, Mary Sue and Don Lothario that has uh, gotten married. <laughs> but he's just a foster kid. He will be going off to college soon. Oh, and also, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Here's the thing about Davis. He accidentally knocked his girlfriend up and he doesn't want to take responsibility for it. And he doesn't want to tell his parents, but he has told Gina, his girlfriend, that he has. And they said, no, we cannot take your baby in. And so, and she doesn't uh, have the means to do it. <laughs> yes. There's so much. So that baby is going to end up in the in the orphanage, uh, unfortunately, uh, and it's a whole mess. <laughs> now Delmar is just in the orphanage. He, he's fine. Seth Dreamer has been um, fostered by Ginger Newson and John Burb that has gotten married. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he left Jennifer and got married to, to Ginger Newson and they are now living in the Newson house that looks horrible uh, because I extended it in weird ways anyway so here's uh, like Melinda Dreamer is the daughter of Lilith Pleasant <laughs> yes Ginger Newson uh, so Jean, uh, Melinda is Jerk first daughter um, and then he uh, she died she, they so Jerk was in college and Lilith was staying in the goth mansion because Darren had married Cassandra so they were going to live there after they got married after uh, Dirk was done in college but um, Lilith got scared by a ghost and died, unfortunately. And they left little Melinda behind. And <laughs> so, but then uh, Dirk married Steffi Dreamer here. Uh, she was Steffi Raymond first, so that's why Dorian is called Raymond. Yeah, poor Lilith. I was really sad when it happened. I didn't want it to happen. Uh, but they have had Dorian, Dean, Duke, and Omar. <laughs> because I ran out of D names. <laughs> and they have... Uh, Dirk's grandfather is called Omar, so that's why he's called Omar. And I do believe I talked about all of them. Of course, Darlene is dead. Still. <laughs> Poor Omar, no D for you. you. Yeah, but it, it, it is a family name though. <laughs> and it wasn't a, a bespoken rule that they all had D names. It just sort of, they that's what they had. <laughs> so. Um, what was going on? Everyone was getting home? Alright. What is this icon here? <laughs> it's look. It looks like the sickness tester. But I don't think I have that here. No. It's weird. This is a full house. It is, yes. Uh, Steffi wanted another kid, but I didn't lock that in for her because they are already eight in the house. So I'm not... Uh, like, she can't have another kid. <laughs> it will be too much chaos for my brain. It, we, we cannot have it. Um, should we try and fulfill some wishes? Maybe you're in the bath, you can't do it. Oh, he's gonna go, go to bed anyways. Uh, Dirk wants to reach body level 7. You don't do that with a bookcase. Alright, what is he doing? Okay. Uh, I had him do yoga before. Because I thought that was fun. <laughs> so he can do some of that. And Steffi wants to play a computer game. But she's dancing right now. She's acting like she's a um, 
secondary pleasure sim and she is not i don't understand <laughs> whoops that's not what i meant to do so she could play some spore this family apparently owns spore melinda is dirty oh she hasn't done her homework at all oh no that's bad Oh my goodness, where are you trying to go? Why are my sims trying to go through the furniture <laughs> all the time? Put that away and you should be going to bed. All the kids should be going to bed. It's half past ten. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure I'm putting them in the right beds. It's it's fine. Oh, hi, Dorian. <laughs> he did not get some today. <laughs> but he seems happy anyways. <laughs> like, he got to see Lisa Freckles naked. So, that that is apparently a, uh, enough for him. And he wants to win a dance contest. And I have been trying to win dance contests. But I cannot... I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't get the option. But he wants to meet someone new. How are you gonna do that now? It's in the middle of the night. It's going to happen sometimes. So I'm gonna lock that in. <laughs> uh, Seems too is difficult. It is. Uh, yes. Um, you know those deaths I was talking about? Like those, those happen. Frequently, if you're not paying attention, you can like lose your sims. Uh, they they don't go eat when they're pregnant, so they starve to death, and they get scared by ghosts. And Dirk here actually got hit by lightning, uh, but um, but fortunately Steffi was home, so she could plead to death, and he, he survived. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> People who only play Sims 4 would have a difficult time. Anyone would have a difficult time. <laughs> like when you get back from... I have played a lot of Sims 4. So when you get back to Sims 2, you get all... Oh my god, they're dying like flies. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is difficult. I saw Liz Simsy play Sims 2 once and she was like, man, this game is hard. <laughs> it is. But now I'm used to it, so so I don't perceive it like that hard. I don't know. But you know, it, it is difficult. It is more fun. Yes. Uh, that's what I always say because people go like with specific fun functions and features and say like Sims 4 is actually better than the Sims 2 because of this feature and this feature and this feature. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm like, I see what you're saying because those features are really good. I don't like my hair like that. <laughs> uh, but when I play the Sims 2, I'm having more fun. And as a game <clears throat> that is all you're supposed to do <laughs> and people still make new mods after 18 years they are have you tried the uh, story progression mod because I have and it's it's awesome but I actually figured out I tried playing rotationally and I figured out I like it better so <laughs> I know it's there, I have used it, but I'm playing rotationally instead. <laughs> you love story progression. It is like if you want to get a neighborhood started like and then play rotationally, because that's what I accidentally did in a, another neighborhood. Uh, that's awesome. Yes, ACR. I think it took the game to the next level. <laughs> Uh, okay, dinner has apparently happened here, but you know, it's night time. <laughs> Why did you put out dinner now? It's weird. You can put it in the fridge, you can eat it later. 
<laughs> it's fun with Uber hoods. I turn it on for three days just to get everything started. Yeah, I got you. That that is um, only three days though. You know my favorite mod, the community time mod. Yes, I have that. Um, without it, Dorian, move. <laughs> Without it, it's like you get too much time. <laughs> the, the community time it mod is in story progression. Is it? All right. Might be. But I only have the community time mod. Because I feel like if my sim go away... Go to bed, Dorian. Why don't you go to bed? And they are at a community lot and stuff happens over there. They shouldn't also be here. Th that same time period. I only wish that it worked for vacations too. Because I would take vacations more frequently if it did. Oh, Omar figured out he likes the nature activity. How did you figure? Oh, he's looking. Oh my god, I didn't know they could do this. He's chasing fireflies. Oh my goodness, chasing fireflies, so pretty. <laughs> Picture, there. He has his special little looks. I, I feel like my, my kids, their eyes get bigger and bigger. I don't understand. <laughs> um, I don't know what's happening, but they, they do. I love vacations because you get free time from your with your family. That you do. But I'm trying to get through rotations, so when they go on, on vacation, I get double time. You know. <laughs> so that that's my issue with that. I remember finding it, and I was like, hearts. I used to get so annoyed because I was used to time actually going forward and I was like why why should my sims be sleeping at like 2 p.m. p.m. yeah their sleep schedules <clears throat> get all out of whack if you don't have the community time mode so I think I actually feel like it's an essential mod <laughs> now I tried playing without it for a while but I didn't. I, I ended up thinking that we should have it. Oh, he's asleep. Is someone up? Someone should take care of the little toddler. Also, no one has done their homework. Oh my goodness, cat. Can't do that. It really is, though. Uh... I couldn't play Sims 2 without it. Nancy Duchess said that you have to remove that mod when using story progression. Yeah, I uh, I gather <laughs> if it's in there, you can't have it. Also, that would be a conflict. He wants to learn potty. But I'm gonna log in and learn to walk. But I th I think we're gonna put him put him in the crib. And then maybe Dirk can go to sleep because I think everyone else is asleep. But now we can. <laughs> now that everyone is asleep, Melinda can go up because it's three in the morning and she hasn't done her homework. And she wants to go to college. Wait, 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 wait. She uh, is an A student and she is, what is her age? Oh, she's 16, so she can lock it in, but she cannot go yet. Uh, but she wants to do her homework so she can maintain this A grade because then she's allowed to go when she's 18 according to my rules. <laughs> I wanted to make the the grades mean something so if you have an A you can go to college when you're 18, B 
19 and C20. And if you don't have a C, then I'm sorry, you're not going. Because then you're gonna turn 21 and you're gonna auto age into an adult. Seems fair. Yeah, uh, before I had that rule, I didn't care about the grades and I didn't like that. <laughs> Of course, you have to care that they don't get an F because then the social social worker comes. But they are all, oh my goodness, they're all A students uh, except for Duke. He, he has a C, but he wants to do his homework. And who can help him? Maybe Steffi can help him. Or Darren, Darren is really good. So it's in the middle of the night, so th this is naturally when you do all the homework. <laughs> um, yeah. Dean doesn't care about his homework, and Dorian doesn't care about his homework. So I'm not gonna direct them to, to do it. What is wrong with you? I just put you down. Oh my goodness. I guess he wants out now. Oh, you were going to help with homework. Stop that. And... Oh, I, ha I hate that I can't see whose homework is it. it is. It was... Duke. Alright. But he's, he's going to the toilet first. Could you choose the other toilet that is free? <laughs> oh my goodness. Like why? I don't know what they do that. They're usually smarter than that. It was Dean, right? Duke. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> Ah, I might be able to do that this at some point. Darren, you're going to the wrong kid. It, it was Duke. See, this is the trouble with having them all on D names. I can't keep them apart. <laughs> it's too hard. <clears throat> Am I trying to do it? Okay. Oh, that that tub is filthy too. Oh no. Yep. Try try and wait until. Okay, I need to switch those stairs. Those stairs will not do. So we ask this man for help with homework. Why did you cancel that action? Please. This is why you get all the Sims to the same level before you stop doing with the cat. <laughs> He's being really difficult yeah. and Melinda is the only one with a desk because uh, I ran out of room and money but now we have some money people got money and we need to before something bad happens we need to put that money in the bank because or some of it because don't do not deposit a thousand. Does the cat have a job? No, <laughs> it could have. Wait, someone wanted the cat to have a job, I think. Oh yes, Melinda thinks the cat should have a job. Uh, he, she thinks Cyber should get a job in showbiz or insecurity and she also thinks that someone else's cat should have a job in showbiz 
Okay. Showbiz or security. Well, you can find a job for the cat then. Find pet job for cyber. They make pretty good money. They do. They do. Sometimes I feel like it's cheating because like whose who's cat has a job? <laughs> but, you know? All right, Dean is hungry, but he's getting something to eat. Dirk has a thousand on his deposit account now. The good thing about having the money in the account with the hacked computer is that it will not affect the bills. And they do not need higher bills. All right, well, this is awesome. These kids made their homework. Fantastic. Now we want to get an A plus report card. Well, you have a little way to go for that, but you have done your homework at least. I don't think he has any more homework anywhere. No. He wants to become friends with Juliet and gain a skill point. I said I was gonna... That's why Sims 2 is cute. Because of the pet jobs? Oh my goodness. There will be a school bus. I get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this, this is why The Sims 2 is cute. Look at this. Doesn't that hurt though? He has shoes on. <laughs> Aww. This is why it's cute. They just spontaneously did this. Have you seen this happen in The Sims 4? No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> okay well if you're pretty happy I don't even know what to do with all this she wants she still oh the computer broke but she wants to play a computer game so she will try and fix it I guess I thought she might try to teach Omar to walk, but she doesn't seem... Well, she wants to teach him a nursery rhyme, so we could do that. The phone is ringing. Who could be calling at 4... Four to eight. Uh, no, Darren isn't available to talk about his newfound love for music and dance because he's dancing with his grandson. <laughs> I, I I don't appreciate those uh, calls and magazines because I I never I never go to the secret lots and I never do the magazine thing is maybe I should go to the secret lots I don't know I just use it because when they are low on fun I go and check what their hobby is and I have them do something of, of that sort it makes them more diverse there are most to get rid of them there probably is and I should probably have them because I only get annoyed <laughs> okay call on this we are on Thursday I'm gonna note that I made it to Thursday in my spreadsheet remember to save the game uh, yes that is a good idea Yeah. 
If anyone wonders what the leaves here are, it's because it's autumn and everyone learns faster. So that's that's the awesome thing about autumn. But it doesn't go very fast, does it? Oh, he gained a point of charisma from that. I did not know that would happen. But he didn't learn the nursery rhyme. Okay. He just wants to learn to, to walk now. And he wants to get party trained. Use smart milk. Uh, yeah, I don't use smart milk. Um, <clears throat> because I, I think it's it's too powerful. <laughs> so I, I don't use those um, uh, reward thingies. <laughs> Deep sea excavator Pierre Lafog. All right, discover <laughs> discoverer of several sunken ships filled with gold and delicious sea ha, uh, sea salt based pe pastries disappeared around the turn of the century. The Ministry of Adventure wants him found. The fog supposedly disappeared in dangerous waters, and Dirk will need some help. The Ministry will only finance one team member. Should Dirk hire a sonar or a diving expert? Um, um, what? He disappeared around the turn of the century. But I think it's... It, it, we're gonna go diving. Oh no. <laughs> I chose the wrong one. <laughs> Dirk heads to the dive location, convinced he can find the fog in the water. The initial phase of the dive goes well until Dirk entangles himself and his dive partner in the air hose. Both begin flailing wildly when suddenly the long lost La Fog emerges from the depths to free the two adventurers and lead them to the surface. The news network completely forget about the salvage dive and begin interviewing the, the hero the fog embarrassed the ministry of adventure recommends a new career for jerk because he has been fired what he found the dude i don't get it so he got fired i don't understand <laughs> and he came home in this suit too <laughs> yep, <laughs> he got fired. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> I don't understand. He found it. All right, all right. Apparently, I chose the wrong option. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what did you say about downloads? Uh, you downloaded like 700 files and it was less than 3 gigabyte total. Well, three gigabytes is quite a lot you know if your game tries to load three gigabytes in then you don't have any room for graphics or stuff because it can only take up like four gigabytes i think with the with the hack unless you have an eight gigabyte hack i would like to have one of those <laughs> oh no another one I'm gonna choose the wrong uh, thing again. Darren and his group are gathering gold and ridiculously cool loot on one of their favorite hills when a group of the ogre faction shows up. The ogres begin taunting Darren's group because they outnumber his group and they simply aren't nice people. Uh, yeah. Darren can order his group off the hill or they can stand and fight for the toot they've rightfully earned. Should they run or is it time to stand and fight? Well, I think they should run because they're outnumbers and there's ogres. So what happens? Darren is a gold farmer, not a raid leader. So he orders his group to stand down and retreat from the hill. 
you're talking about custom account and the 4 gigabyte patch is for a different thing. Yeah, but when the game loads, doesn't it have to load all the custom content in to the, you know, into the RAM? And it, it, doesn't it? <laughs> I I don't know, but I, I I assume that's how it works. Anyway, the ogres immediately move up to taunt Darren, which doesn't go over too well. Darren orders half of his group to stand down and taunt them while he and the rest of them move around the hill. With the ogres distracted, Darren orders a charge and the ogres fall to classic flanking maneuver. Darren's guild leader happens to be online watching the chat and he is really impressed, enough so that he promotes Darren's to flag capturer. So he got promoted, so I did something right. All right, okay, no, well, I might be thinking of The Sims 4 because I, I, I do believe like when you play The Sims 4 if you have a lot of custom content everything is really really slow. So I just assume that everything is loaded in there. <laughs> you know? But The Sims 2 might be better programmed. I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, misunderstanding how everything works. <laughs> to be honest it depends on your PC. No. The, the game is programmed the same, regardless of my PC. <laughs> anyway, Darren has been promoted to flag capture at level 5. Whether it belongs to the red team or blue team, if it's a flag, it'll be captured. What? If it's a flag, it will be captured. Okay. Rocket jumping and circle strafing demand... Okay, he's... he's Jumping all over the place. Flag capturing. Okay. Well, he's doing well. Oh. Hey for Dirk wanted to become a space pirate. Oh no. Well, you can pay all bills. Oh, yeah, I know. Go, go, it, go and go party. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this costume though. It's, it's cool. And he's like, what am I going to do for money now that I uh, lost my job? <laughs> that That's very unfortunate. Uh, wh why is this car standing around here? Is someone going to work? I haven't gotten job for the cat yet. I was going to, but I never did. Mm. Who's who is she waiting for? Hello, where who are you trying to pick up? I don't understand. This is confusing. No one has. Oh, Darren. Okay, okay. He just got home. Well, alrighty then. Go back to work. More gaming. Make more money. Uh, my game says he is sixty-one years old, but I have him as sixty-four. So that that can differ somewhat. What are we going to do with ourselves? Oh, now Amara wants to sleep. Okay. The carpool for Melinda will arrive in about one hour, which means <laughs> she's getting home now then. Dorian brought a friend home from school. All right, better talk to him then. And Melinda brought a home. A home uh, <laughs> she brought a friend home from school too. Maybe I should go and make some coffee. 
Where did you put your homework? You can't put them there. That's Melinda's desk. She's claimed it, see? What are you doing? That's not how the game is supposed to work. I'm gonna put your homework respectfully over here. I don't know. Why did that not work? That's weird. Maybe b because there's not another desk. Maybe I should make room and have more desks somewhere. We could have a little desk over here. We could have two desks. No, we can't. Uh, because the chair won't fit. But we can have one. Because I, ha I have this little desk here, but the chair won't fit. Unless I move the door. <laughs> I don't think I should do that. So I can put one of these. No, that's not a good idea. Let's actually use this and do that. There, someone can put their homework there. Maybe I put that to Dorian's desk. No, 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 no. Down here. We want one of these. Where did I put his homework? There. So if, if I put his homework there and then that thing there and he can claim this desk. And he won't try to do it, put it down upstairs. Okay, well, if you wanna play, then we can play. Oh, did you make a friend in school today? I think so. Alright, but where's the drama? <laughs> Now Melinda uh, is dating Nestor, so maybe he, uh, maybe she invites him over. I think. Well, she wants to do her homework though. But she's low on fun, and she likes music and dance, so we can have her like turn this on and dance to it. Dance. Oh, <laughs> or go to jo uh, go to your work. That that's fine too. You can do that. Oh no, a burglar! <laughs> it's Maris. Marisa Bendit. She lives... I think she lives... She lives over there. But she she has works as a burglar. She's not here to, to burgle us. <laughs> uh, oh, Dirk likes tinkering. Then I should have him uh, fix the computer. But he is a bit hungry. Where did that girl go? That oh, <laughs> so these two came over and they're gonna play with each other. All right. Uh, what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Also, you're dancing, but you're... you like fitness. Okay. You can jump rope. That's 
fun for people that like fitness. He's very excited about it. <laughs> oh, Dean wants to actually do his homework now. That's good. Do homework. Duke, do you want to do your homework? Yes, you do. But you are uh, filthy. You should take a bath first. Who brought a friend home from school? I don't know, but someone brought home William. Wow. And then you should like play with him or something. Are you low on fun? Yes, you are. So play. Play. Mary Mac, that's cute. Oh, hello, stranger. I thought you might have been abducted by aliens. Who are you calling, Mary Sue? <laughs> There's quite a lot of people here. Oh, here comes uh, Nina Caliente with her belly. She got <laughs> she got herself pregnant because she was woohooing everybody. Um, and to be honest, I think she is uh, quite happy with who it is. <laughs> it's Don Lothario. <laughs> um, but she she won't tell him. She was she will just she was not going to keep the baby. But Nestor told her like you. You dumped me at the orphanage, you're not doing that again. So she is keeping the baby for her son's sake. <laughs> Goodbye, Nina. <laughs> well, at least William is having a fun time. And... Dean can't do any more homework because he uh, is bored. We don't know his hobby yet, so we could try some different things. Um, we know it's not one of film and literature, arts and crafts, it's not music and dance. So it could be one of the other ones. Let's try jump rope. Maybe you need to go outside first. Sometimes they can't find their way to a spot where <laughs> where they can jump. Well, no, it's not that, but I think it will... Is it fun for him? Is it only fun if you like fitness? No, he, he he's, I think it's kind of fun. Yes, you play with your little friend. No, he doesn't want to. Okay. Well, can we play something else? Cops and robbers? No, we can't because there's not room. <laughs> well, try again. There you go. No. <laughs> Did you lose him? Oh, what happened? Uh, can we call him over? Call over. Okay, everyone aged up again. So we can see what is going on. So, uh, ages. Darren is now 65. Dirk is 39. Steffi is 37, Melinda is 17, uh, Dorian is 15, and Dean is 11, Duke is 7, and Omar is now 3. And I haven't noted Omar's star sign yet. I'm not sure why I do that, but I keep doing it. <laughs> He's an Aquarius.
so 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 that's that is known. What's wrong with you? Go to the toilet. Okay. Maybe we call this dude over after. So we can talk to him. Because Doria wants to be friends with him. There are so many leftovers and someone made more food. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> well, okay, so he left. All right, but you can you can call him later. It's fine. Okay. Well, if you're tired, go to sleep. Ah. What is happening? Okay, so now everyone is asleep because they were up at 3 a.m. doing homework. <laughs> so that, that's that. I think I'm gonna play until morning and then we're gonna stop. Why why are you having such a difficult time? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's going to bed now. Yep, everyone going to bed. Their, their uh, days are all, all messed up. I don't know. Well, at least we've fed this kid. <laughs> <laughs> Someone ma made even more food. All right. Looks a cajable soup. Uh huh. Soup. Let's see. He's only attracted to Lisa. Okay. He did get. Um, <laughs> I have this other sim, uh, Bob the Third, of the newbie clan. Uh, he <laughs> he uh, wanted a boyfriend, and I couldn't find any suitable ones for him. So he started uh, hitting on Dorian, and they had amazing dates. But you know, uh, Dorian is straight, so I don't really know <laughs> what happened there. Oh, you come home and do the dishes. All right, that seems fair. They don't have a TV. I feel they would benefit from a TV. I do believe I need to extend this house a little bit in order to fit everything. So maybe we. How much can I actually. Oh, what? I don't think I should be able to do this. But it, the game let me. <laughs> well, that's weird. <laughs> Location out of bounds. Okay. Well, that looks awful. Is it, is it because I have move objects on that I was able to build like that? Probably. If I do this then. Ah! Wait. <laughs> Where is it? We have... We have lift off. <laughs> Strange thing. Why, why are you being difficult? Think? Alright. 
I seem to be able. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Why is this so hard? Okay. Well, it's kind of floating, but it's going to have to do. And let's just remove this part here. Put a wall back there. It's fine. There we go. Maybe we need more windows. Like this. Everything is sort of chaotic in here. So we just open this thing up and move move some things over. I don't think this is a good idea. There, and we can put a TV. Uh, we don't. We can't afford a TV now, but we we can uh, we can do that later. We've enabled the TV spot. <laughs> there we go. Bigger house. That's better. Yeah, this doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> If I move this one to somewhere else, <coughs> there, I can put that there, and I can put that there, and I can put that there. This is fine. I don't know. Maybe this is the big empty space there now. Nah. Oh my goodness, this thing is still broken. All right, I was going to have Dirk eat something so that he wasn't so hungry, so that if he gets an electric shock, <laughs> he doesn't die. Uh, so having, but then. Yeah, everything's boring. I'm sorry. So we can't get the money out of the computer because it's in the computer. Steffi has returned and we can now afford the cheapest TV. Maybe we buy the cheapest TV. No, we cannot because then we cannot afford to pay the, maid, the nanny. What? Nanny, what are you doing? You go away now. <laughs> oh my god, she keeps serving food. I guess that was all that was left in the fridge to serve. Yeah, the, this seems too difficult. <laughs> Well, at least... Oh no, now she wants to get a job for cyber in showbiz. Let's check the newspaper. If we have one. Uh, I don't see... It doesn't seem we do... There it is. Find pet job for cyber. Let's see if we can find him a job in the showbiz. She doesn't want to. Because she's bored. I'll read it then. <laughs> Do crossword. I don't know. What is this card? Okay, that's for the nanny. And maybe after you do that, you will be open to find a job for cyber. I missed a spot here. 
There. There. <laughs> well, uh, he could die now. No, I think if he got an electric shock, he, he wouldn't die. Oh, I fixed it. No, he did not. Repair. Oh, that's boring, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Well... Can you tinker in the bath? Is that a good idea? Yes, hit it with that wrench. That that will that will make it better. Oh, here's Dorian playing with Sadie, getting them logic ball points. He has way more skill points than his big sister, I think. She has five. He has six. Way more. <laughs> There's one more. <laughs> Well, did it just turn Friday? Hello. I think it did, and I want Show. coffee. So, I think... I think I'm gonna put this family in the spreadsheet as being on Friday. And do the thing that I said I wasn't going to do, and leave them with one day left of the season. But, um... I do think that I'm going to do, next time I play them, if I want to play two days, I'm going to play two days and I'm going to play the first day of of winter, uh, regardless. Because, it, why not? <laughs> so, um, let's see if someone else is playing The Sims 2 on Twitch. Do I have Twitch open somewhere? Nope. Nope. No one else is playing The Sims 2. So let's... Oh my goodness. So let's raid a uh, Sims 4 player instead. Like a so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it's loading. Anyway, I really enjoyed the stream. I had a lot of fun and um, it was nice talking about the weather with you. And so until next time, have a super duper time. Take care, stay safe and, you know, stay warm. <laughs> Drink that hot chocolate if you like that. <laughs> so, bye.